Now let's understand what's the formula for probability. Two things we saw earlier. One was throwing a dice and the second was toss a coin which can give either head or tail. Throwing a dice can give you one, two, three, four, five, six. I hope you all understand what a dice means. A dice is basically a cube, something like this, you know, and each of it side represent a particular number. So if you have one here, two here, three here, four here, five here and six towards the back of the cube. Right? So when you throw a dice, only one number comes to the top, this portion. Okay? So now in case of a dice, you know, if someone were to ask you, what is the probability of getting 1? Now, the probability of getting a particular number is the number of trials when the event happened divided by total number of trials. So if someone were to ask you what's the probability of getting one? So how many numbers are one? It's only one. So the number of trials when the event happened so the probability is the number of trial in which the event happened. So let's say you tossed it six times and you got the numbers as under 1, 2, 6, 1, 3, 1. So if someone were to ask you what is the probability of getting 1, then the probability is number of trials when the event happened how many times did one come? One, two, three. Three. Upon total number of trials. So how many were the trials there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Or one upon two is equal to 0 0.5. Right? Similarly, if someone were to ask you what's the probability of getting ahead, now there could be two possible outcomes. Let's take this in a futuristic basis. So a coin can have either head or it can have tail. Okay. So there could be two possible outcomes. So let's say you toss the coin and you got the following head, tail, head, head. So if someone were to ask you what's the probability of getting a head you say number of trials when the event happened. So head how many times did you get? 1, 2, 3. Divided by total number of trials. 1, 2, 3, 4. Or 0 0.75. Okay. Now please note that in any given situation the sum of probability is always 1. So when you toss a coin, there could be two outcomes, head and tail. So what's the probability of tail here? Tail is how many times did tail come? 1 divided by total number of trials, 4. 0 0.25. If you add these two, 0.75 plus, plus 2, 0.25, you will get 1. Right? 